now it's time to model this part you see right here this front part and as you can see three components quite a bit similar here this one this one is the same and this one is the logo that we saved before if you can remember we saved a copy of it and we made it hidden so let's start by creating a rectangle around this logo I go back to 3ds max and i'm working now on the top view and this is the piece i kept hidden i simply hidden everything else and unhide this one only and this was a symmetry so i need to right click convert to editable poly so i can start modeling it but i need first to rotate it so it looks like this image here so it looks to this direction so we select the editable poly use the rotate tool activate snap angle snap toggle and let's rotate it to the left 90 degree that's it now let me start working on it I need to do the same like I did before so I go to edge mode and let me zoom in to see the outer edge this one I double click deselect it and let me use the scale tool to scale it out as you can see here and I don't want too many extrusions so I create this first uh, shape as you can see this first scale and then I use the extrude tool with a value of 20 and I press OK now I press F to go to front view and now I push this edge down then I change the mode to vertices select all the lower vertices use the scale tool to even them make them all even that's it let me get back to top view by pressing T and now I can continue what I, I was working on so I get back to edge mode and I need to make this edge a bit bigger so let me make it bigger and I need to convert these points into rectangle so I use the vertex, vertex mode I select these pressing control and select these two I use the scale tool to scale them group by group I use oops I use the alt to deselect these two and continue scaling until I get the shape I want to have of course it's not final I need to deactivate the uh, angle actually now let me do the same here these two and these two scale them on the X axis using alt to deselect these two groups continue the scaling oops it's better to change the number of uh, undos to something big like 100 okay now what I need to do I need to take these drag them up I don't need this one drag this up same here and of course I don't need this one I drag this down and I want to make a rectangle actually if that's if you're keeping up with me and I need to take these 
outward and also these only this one I need to take them outward as well now I take every row and using the scale tool I'm gonna make it even still I have some minor not even same here let's make this even okay I do the same on this side and the same for this side but I accidentally selected this one I don't need it so that's it so now we have the rectangle let's press P to go to perspective view and now we have a rectangle inside it we got the logo next step will be to create this part here this part and I will make a copy of it then I will connect, connect these together and continue this part later okay sorry oops so keep up with me to the next tutorial.